So there has been millions upon millions of Americans who have already signed up for student debt relief from the Biden administration. And at this time, millions have already actually been approved. The problem is that because of the Republican Party's lawsuit, well, that relief can't actually be given to the people who were already approved. And the Biden administration took to Twitter to explain this. Last month, I launched the application for our administration's student debt relief. Close to 26 million Americans have already given us the information to be considered for this life-changing relief. And as of this week, the U.S. Department of Education will have approved 16 million applications. That's 16 million Americans so far who should be seeing student debt relief in the coming days. But that relief is on hold because Republican elected officials are doing everything they can to deny it, even to their own constituents. We're fighting these attacks from Republican elected officials in the courts. I will never apologize for helping working and middle class Americans as they recover from the pandemic. And that is the exact message that Joe Biden and all Democrats should be pushing. Some of you are already approved for relief, but that cannot be given to you because of these disgusting Republicans who are taking money away from you, money out of your pockets. Why? Because they'd rather have any additional revenue go to the military industrial complex, go to their billionaire donors, and they're just sick. I mean, individuals like Rick Scott, he not only wants student debt relief to not be a thing, he's trying to propose cuts to Social Security, Medicaid. Ron Johnson, another GOP senator, is also floating changing Social Security to part of our discretionary budget so that way you can adjust it every single year, i.e. make cuts to it more easily. So it's genuinely disgusting the ways in which Republicans just brazenly try to take money out of the pockets of working class Americans. But this is what they're doing. And... People need to be reminded of this. If you vote for Republicans and you're not a billionaire, then you are voting against your own self-interest. This is what's happening. This is what's at stake in this election cycle. And Democrats have got to do more to remind Americans of this. When you vote for a Republican, you are taking student debt relief away from one of your children who went to school. You are taking Social Security away from an elderly person who worked all their life to get that. This is what the GOP does. They are absolutely cruel. They couldn't care less about Americans. They couldn't care if you died. They wouldn't piss on you if you were on fire. They don't care about you. Now, I wish that Democrats were more empathetic. I wish that more Democrats embraced Medicare for all. But comparing them to the GOP, the difference is night and day. The GOP is cruel. Like their kink is to actually make Americans suffer. And now that ten to $20,000 that could be given to individual Americans who work their ass off to get through school, well, that's being withheld from them. It's on hold currently because of this dumbass lawsuit. Now they tried to find some way to get a plaintiff withstanding to sue. And um, <laughs> there's one lawsuit at least that resulted in this being put on hold. But there are many lawsuits that are working their way through the system currently all to block student debt relief. For more context, we go to Insider who writes, Biden's debt relief plan has been hit with at least five other lawsuits seeking to block its implementation. While the cases have either been dismissed or appealed, a court has yet to officially strike down the whole plan. Still, the decision from the Eighth Circuit looms, and until it comes, the Education Department cannot actually give borrowers relief. This delay could mean that borrowers may have to resume payments in January without the loan forgiveness they applied for, depending depending on how long it will take for the loan companies to process the changes to borrowers' accounts. While it's unclear that the Eighth Circuit will ultimately decide, the GOP plaintiff's defense may have weakened this week when Biden's Justice Department informed the court when Moella told Missouri Representative Cory Bush it was not involved with the state's decision to sue the Biden administration on debt relief, undermining the state's key argument that the company would suffer from loan forgiveness. So a little bit of silver lining there, but still, when you see five different lawsuits, it's hard to not get discouraged. And it's not like the GOP is just attacking student debt relief, pretending as if this is something that's going to benefit elites who went to Ivy League schools, which is complete bullshit. They're actively trying to find ways to stop Americans from getting this relief. Anyone who has student debt who qualifies for relief, you should be irate. I was furious 
reading this story. I don't know if I'm one of the individuals who was already approved. I certainly submitted my application, but these Republicans are stopping us from getting relief. And that's so sick, so twisted. These elitist Republicans, they will never a day in their lives know what it feels like to have this much debt that you can never foresee you paying off. But because of this student debt relief plan, Biden, he didn't do enough. He didn't go far enough, but he still gave us enough to breathe just a little bit easier at night. But the GOP, they still can't have that. They've got to take everything that they can from you because they hate you. Now, to his credit, Biden has been doing a good job at hammering Republicans and pointing out their hypocrisy, specifically on this issue, comparing their outrage to student debt to them saying nothing when it comes to PPP loans. And that's because a lot of Republicans, they took PPP loans themselves. Let's watch. Marjorie Taylor Greene, she got over, she and her husband got $180,000 in business loans forgiven from the PPP program. She said it's completely unfair for us to forgive student loans for working and middle class Americans. Representative Vern Buchanan of Florida said our plan was reckless. Guess how much he got in that program? Forgiven. Two million three hundred thousand dollars. This is not a joke. Can't make this stuff up. Republican governors wrote me, wrote me a letter saying this relief is only helps the elite few. You all know you're the elite few? I knew you were really special, but know you're the elite few. I'm serious. Ted Cruz, the great senator from Texas, he said it's for slackers, quote, slackers who don't deserve relief. Who in the hell do they think they are? This is great, but he's got to keep this up and all Democrats need to in unison say this. Republicans are keeping you from getting relief. This cannot stand. They are disgusting. They are hateful and they will do whatever they can to fuck over working class Americans. So I hope that Biden continues to fight. I hope that the fight doesn't die down after the midterms are over. But I mean, this should galvanize people who qualify for student debt to get to the polls and vote these Republicans out of office. They don't care about you. They want you to suffer. They don't care that you have the student debt that you've been making payments to for perhaps decades in some instances, and you've only seen the amount you owe increase because the interest rates are so high. They don't care. You could tell them every sob story in the book. They have no compassion. They have no human em empathy. These are sociopaths. And the only purpose for the existence of the Republican Party is to inflict pain and suffering on the American people at this point. Come on, man.